Hi folks, thanks for tuning in. Um, I've just threw this little video together about the 5G. Do you remember Simon Parks was promoting and selling these for £350 on his channel and through Connecting Consciousness website? I wonder how many people have bought these. Apparently there were a lot of complaints and he replaced them with one with this sticker on. <laughs> I doubt if that worked any better with the sticker. Um, if anyone wants to write to me? or message on my channel, let me know your experiences and uh, see what's going on with this man because it seems he's coming up with scam after scam after scam, being exposed and carrying on. People don't seem to get, people seem to get amnesia where this man is concerned. Well, I'm here to remind you all. Thanks for tuning in. Bye for now. Lots more to come. Stay tuned. Sub my channel for more. So let's just can repeat and confirm that if you've bought a stick and you are a member of Connecting Consciousness or you're about to do so, you will receive the stick of St. George and the Dragon. Come February, when the um, Swiss factory is up and running properly, you will get a free stick with our logo on it, Connecting Consciousness, and you don't have to um, give the other stick back. I would ask that you don't sell it on eBay. I would ask that you don't sell it on eBay. I would ask that you don't sell it on eBay. I've just wasted $450 on one of the most elaborate scams in existence and for some reason the UK government was promoting it. 5G, you've heard about it a thousand times already. You might love it, you might be kind of interested but just a bit bored of hearing about it, or you might be in the increasingly vocal community of people who hate it. I've seen with my own two eyes people who say that 5G is being used by the military to control us, that 5G is what's caused the virus that's going around, and even that lockdown is just the government's way of installing 5G towers all over the place without people being able to stop them. But fear not, the 5G Bioshield is here to save us, using none other than proprietary holographic nanolayer catalyst technology. I'm sorry, what? Proprietary holographic nanolayer catalyst? It sounds a bit like someone's just jumped to random pages of a chemistry textbook and picked the first words they saw. But I gave them the benefit of the doubt. I spent a full day, in fact, reading through everything this website had to say. They say that in our modern world, we're surrounded by EMF, or electromagnetic fields. And this is true. There are electromagnetic fields everywhere. Everything from your smartphone to your microwave contributes to this. But that's pretty much the only correct piece of science on the entire website. They go on to say that 5G makes these fields much stronger, to the point where they're dangerous, and that you need to use their product to shield yourself. So the way this apparently works is you plug it into your computer and it creates a 40 meter force field around you. And if that doesn't already sound ridiculous enough, they claim that even without power, even if you were just carrying this in your bag with you, it can still create a permanently protective, and I quote, plasmic shield of eight meters. Now, where have I heard of plasmic shields before? Oh yeah, Star Wars. The shield apparently uses, can't even make this stuff up, quantum oscillation to restore the coherence of atoms and emit life force frequencies. The force, Star Wars. I feel like a link is forming. And it was at around this point that I thought, for goodness sake, I've got to try it. I've got to make 100% sure that this is in fact the pile of garbage that it looks like. So I ordered one. And the purchase process was about as shady as the science behind it. It's listed at £283, but the second you add it to the cart, you quickly realise they're going to add sales tax on top of that. Companies don't usually do that in the UK. And when you factor in the additional £12 shipping fee, this ends up at £351.60. And of course, the only way to pay is a direct bank transfer, which has zero payment protection. So I stomached it. I thought, this is £350 I'm not expecting to see again. But a sub to the channel would be amazing. Miracles do happen. Two weeks later, a little package dropped through the door. I picked it up. I immediately knew what it was. I sprinted to the studio, ripped open the box, and smashed it into my computer. Wow! This is the best thing I've ever seen in my life! And thanks to quantum nanoparticle electroforcism, you can get the effects just by watching through your screen. You're welcome. Okay, no. It is exactly what it looks like. This 
is a USB stick. And in fact, the only surprise I had here was the fact that its total capacity maxes out at 128 megabytes. They've even been so kind as to drop a full 25 page document on there, which includes a before and after health summary from people who've been using the shield. It says that most users report reverse aging by 18 years. So according to that, I'm about to turn seven. It makes these definitely real reviews of the product a little suspect. I'm thrilled by the science on which basis the device has been created. I'm not a physicist. You don't say. But I understand partially with my intuition. Daniela says, the people I work with seem to be more happy and laugh more. This I could believe. And this one's my favorite. The item you have created is not only ingenious, but exquisitely beautiful in design. All of this speaks to me about the people you are, so I want you to know that I appreciate you as well as what you're doing, namely contributing towards a new heaven on earth. Right, let me try and put some perspective on the sheer stupidity of the words being written here. Heaven on earth, it's a USB. It registers as a USB. And guess what? It took me five minutes to find an almost identical product on AliExpress. It's the same color, it's got the same poor build quality. It's $3. And you wanna know the best part? That one has more storage. <laughs> The single difference between this product and that listing is a sticker. Not anymore. But you know what's worse? It's that this whole operation is run by two scientists. My assumption when I first came across Bioshield was, okay, this is obviously stupid. It's probably run by two people who don't know what they're talking about. People who didn't understand the science and people who themselves were just convinced by their own theories. But that's not what's happening here. These guys more than likely knew exactly what they were making here. And even if they somehow believe the stuff they've written on the site to start with, then surely, surely at the point when you're on the purchasing page for a $3 USB stick, which is actually what you're about to send to customers, something must have clicked. This is not people being delusional. This is a very deliberate scam. But wait, there's more. I know. Kill me now. It turns out the Glastonbury Town Council in the UK, the official government funded body, they set up an advisory council for 5G and they recommended this product. Their exact words were, we use this device and we find it helpful. It does one thing and it does that one thing so poorly that if I wanted to fit this one video file on these Bioshield sticks, I'd need to buy 250 of them. It would cost me $100,000. In what world is that helpful? It looks like what happened is it was just one person who said, I've used this, I can recommend it, and nobody else batted an eyelid. But come on, I mean, it doesn't take a genius. But probably the weirdest part of this scam is that compared to most schemes like this, where companies make a quick buck by being super vague about what's going on, this company has an answer for everything. A group of people called the Pentest Partners, they took one of these things apart and they said to the company, look, we can see it's a USB stick. What do you have to say for yourself? And I couldn't believe it. A spokeswoman from the company actually replied. She said, we're in possession of a great deal of technical information with plenty of backup historical research. As you can understand, we are not authorized to fully disclose all this sensitive information to third parties. Ah, yeah, of course. The secrets stay with you. And the Glastonbury 5G committee. And the directors of Star Wars. They've got an FAQ on their website and someone's asked, can I use an electromagnetic field meter to be able to test that it is in fact reducing the radiation? It's a fair question. Using a meter would be the best way of testing if it's actually doing anything. But they actually had the audacity to say, no, your meter only measures the intensity of the EMF, which our device doesn't change. Our device only changes the form of the EMF. And oh my God, guess what? Only they have the tools to be able to measure that. How do we know if it's on and working? Great question, let's see what they say. It is always on and working. That's why we used quantum nano layer technology. Oh, yes, it makes sense. Anyways, I spent three days in total just looking into this stuff. And while it did start off funny, I think by the end of it, I was actually a bit worried. It turns out 5G Bioshield is just one of many, many schemes like this. There are anti-5G blankets, there are watches, and believe it or not, underwear. I even found a company called Vortex who's selling anti-5G charms. It's genuinely on the same level as wearing a piece of garlic around your neck to keep the vampires away. And if you thought we'd already hit peak stupidity, then you'd be wrong. A very quick search on YouTube shows videos that claim to use a certain vibrational frequency to shield you from 5G. Genius. So I'm gonna finish this video with a very simple message. If anyone you know is considering buying one of these, tell them not to. If this ever pops up on an Instagram or a Facebook advert, which it might well do after watching this video, don't buy it. Please don't buy it.
There's a USB stick that can protect me from 5G. Is something you might have seen for sale, but let me be clear. Nothing can protect you from 5G. Because there's nothing you need protection from. So how does the 5G BioShield USB key work? It doesn't, end of story. Nevertheless, the scammers selling these sticks claim they contain quantum holographic catalyzer technology. So what's the difference between the 5G BioShield USB key and a normal USB stick? Well, a British firm specializing in consumer electronics found that the BioShield had a sticker that looks remarkably like one available in sheets from stationary suppliers for less than a penny each. Impressive. So to be clear, not only can it not do the thing it claims to do, there's no actual need for it to do the thing it claims to do in the first place. Worse yet, it's not even good at being a USB, as it contains only 128 megabytes of storage. That's not even enough to fit an episode of a TV show I... wouldn't have downloaded from the internet anyway. I'm, 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 I'm seriously jealous. I want to look that cool. I want to look that cool. It'll help with the credibility. All right, let's see what they have to say. I got the sound right. Hi guys, Paul Seals from Stop 5G Global. Day, I have with me uh, Sasha Stone, uh, Professor Lekechevich, and I, I get that pronunciation, and good, Jack good, Bauer. Very good. You are pro progressing, my brother. Thank you for joining us and everyone that's tuning no in. No worries. Part two. I know we were we're tuning in for part, part two. Very abruptly the other day, but uh, with what we're, what we're dealing with at the moment collectively, and I, I wanted to uh, just check in with our. This with, is pretty uh, new, you know, March 17. A bit of an update, and we wanted to talk about this. Oh, yes, uh, the we do. BioShield technology a little bit more in yep. a little bit more detail and just sort of explain that about how that works. But would anyone like to, to start? Sasha, would you like to? Yes, please, Sasha. Tell I'm us happy, all about I'm it. I'm happy to begin because I'm not the inventor and I'm not a scientist. I'm not, I'm, I'm not part of the science team. Uh, but the question raised about why is it a USB? The USB is a carrier, uh, no more, no less. But Carrier. Professor Lakistovich has uh, is, is using the electrical charge to augment the field. So when you plug it augments. in, it, it, it enhances or augments the field to create a bubble or a plasma shield, plasma uh, around, shield. around your home, for instance. And That's when it's a 40 meters. And mobile, uh, it's it's a reduced field. I think about eight meters. And the so science the, team. That's the magic little that. sticker. But the, so the, the USB is a carrier. It's not an integral part of the technology. Please be clear. The um, triple nanofoil, nano layer technology triple is the three. technology. The three peer layer. Reviews, uh, um, scientific uh, white it's papers can be uh, read on the um, 5gbioshield.com website, as I understand it. The science is elaborated on quite quite extensively, extensively. There. so I don't think that uh, Professor review. Kisevich or Jacques Bauer, who's the biohazard science researcher and, um, uh, and, and who's also conducting the clinical studies and trials on the technology clinical for the studies. last few months, I don't think yep. either of them are particularly interested in getting involved in answering very reductive questions because so much work has already been done. So let's just can repeat and confirm that if you've bought a stick and you are a member of Connecting Consciousness, or you're about to do so, you will receive the stick from St. George and the Dragon. Come February, when the um, Swiss factory is up and running properly, you will get a free stick with our logo on it, Connecting Consciousness, and you don't have to um, give the other stick back. I would ask that you don't sell it on eBay. I would ask that you don't sell it on eBay. I would ask that you don't sell it on eBay. Thank uh...